Hi, Timothy Ungert here. In this video, I want to cover the search and replace options available in Emacs. You'll see I have two buffers open. On the left, I have a markdown document that covers what we're going to talk about in today's lesson. On the right, I have a sample text file, which I made from copying one of my blog posts. We're going to just use that to demonstrate the search and replace options today. OK, I'm going to use Control X O to move over to the document on the right. And we'll just make sure we're at the beginning here. And the first search I want to talk about is the incremental search. So that search is downward through the document. And the way I can do that is do Control S and then type in what I'm searching for. So I'm going to search for Emacs. And this is case sensitive, so I want to do a capital E uh, Max. So I'm searching for Emacs. And I can do Control S to just go through and search for each instance of Emacs. So if I just keep hitting Control S, it's searching through the document from the top to the bottom for instances of Emacs. Likewise, if I go to the bottom of the document with Alt Shift period or Alt right arrow, I can search upward through the document with Control R. That's also an incremental search backwards. Let's again search for Emacs. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, Control R to just toggle through each of the instances of Emacs within the document. Okay, and I can go all the way up from the bottom of the document up to the top. Okay, I'm going to do Alt Shift comma or Alt left uh, arrow to get back to the top of the document. Okay. And now what I want to talk about is searching without typing in a string. So I'm going to go forward with Alt F and then Control F. And I'm going to put, place my cursor right on the start of Emacs here. And let's say I want to search for each instance of Emacs, but I don't want to type Emacs out or any word for that matter. What I can do is Control S, Control W. And that's going to search for Emacs. And it's not going to be a case sensitive search in this case. So I can do Control S. And actually, I just searched for Emacs 4. Let me go back here and go back up to just Emacs here. And again, so Control S, Control W. And then I can do Control S to toggle through all the instances of Emacs. Now, this is not case sensitive here. So I'm finding all the. Uh, instances of Emacs here. OK. All right. So um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's go back to the top here. And now I want to talk about uh, a simple search. So if I do Control S and then hit Enter before I type in my search term, I can just type for a simple search. Let's do Emacs again. And it's going to just search for where that is in the document. and um, find the next one. It's just going to find the first instance of it. Okay, so it goes down. It's not case sensitive. You notice I typed all lowercase and it, it went down and it searched and it found the next instance of Emacs, but it just stopped there. So if I do Emacs again, so it, again, it goes to the next instance of Emacs and stops there. If I go to the bottom of the document, again, Alt Shift period or Alt right arrow, um, I can search backwards with a simple search with just Control R, Enter, and just search backwards for the last instance. This would be the last instance of Emacs. And you'll see it's right there in line 169. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the top of the document here. And let's do something that might be a little sacrilegious. Let's uh, do Alt X here. And we'll type in replace string, hit Enter. And we're going to replace the string Emacs with Vim. And it just went through and replaced all the capital Emacs there. That was case sensitive. So it replaced all the capital Emacs with Vim. Now, we don't want to keep it like that. We want to undo that. So we're going to do Control X U. Nothing against Vim. It's just, you know, this article is about Emacs. Okay. Uh, so that's replace string. Now, if we wanted to replace, let's, let's do that again. We'll do replace string. We'll replace lowercase Emacs with lowercase Vim. And it's going to go through and it changed all of these, all of the lowercase Emacs into Vim. OK, now, again, I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to do Control uh, underscore to undo what I just did. Or I could do Control X U, either or. OK, 
Now let's talk about Curie replace. So a, a query replace or Curie replace uh, is where you can go through the document. Now, the, those previous replace string that I was just doing, it replaced all the strings of that particular type with whatever word we went. In. So it went through the whole entire document. So for writers, if you have a character named Timmy and you want to change the character's name to Billy throughout your book, uh, replace string is going to be your best friend. But if you only want to replace certain instances of, say, Emacs, let's say we want to replace certain instances of Emacs with, uh, let's say, NeoVim in some cases, Vim in other cases, we can do Curie Replace. Okay, so to do Curie Replace, we'll go to the top of the document and do Alt and the percentage sign, which is Alt Shift 5. And we're going to, let's, uh, let's replace Emacs here and let's replace it with vim okay so uh it goes to the first instance of emacs and i can hit a space or a y to change that so i'm just going to hit the y and it's going to change it to vim now it jumps to the second instance of emacs and it says either y or do i not want to replace it um now i could replace just this current instance and quit i could uh not replace this one. So I could hit uh, no and then go to the next one. So let's do that. So I'll hit no and go to the next one. Uh, and then this one, I could just replace current instance and quit. And then I could do that with a period. Okay. So I just quit my I search. So I'm going to do control X. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to control G to quit that. I'm going to do control U. I think we did three changes. So control U three and then control X U. Okay. And I believe oh we did one too many changes but anyway so i'm actually going to do one more control x u okay so now we get to the top we have emacs again and uh i should have only undid the last two changes my bad because we did skip one i forgot about that now if i want to do this curie replace again and let's let's go over to the other side here and let me go down here and let me show you where I'm at. So I'm at here. I'm going to do control L to center this line. Uh, so if I want to do this courier replace, uh, I want to see the result and then uh, do a space or Y to confirm it. Well, let's go over and do that. So we're going to do alt shift five or alt percent. And let's do again. Yeah. Emacs uh, we will replace it with NeoVim this time. Okay. And so I'm going to do a comma. Okay, so I can see it. Do I want that? Yeah, I want that. So I'm going to move to the next one. I'm going to do a period just to change it and then quit. Okay. Now, if I want to do control U to control X U, that undid the last two changes. So I wanted to undo the last two changes. That's only for demonstration purposes, right? Okay, so we'll move to the start of the line. Let's also continue to talk about career replace. So I can do Alt Shift 5 or Alt Percent. And um, let's do, let's replace, uh, let's replace um, Emacs, okay, with, uh, let's replace it with GNU Emacs, okay. And so I'm going to type yes for this first one. I changed it to GNU Emacs. And then we went to the next one, and as, as I'm going to the next one, uh, I'm I notice that, well, I don't really want GNU Emacs. I want X Emacs. So I'm going to do Shift E, and we're going to change this replacement string. So that gives me the opportunity to change it to X Emacs. Okay, and uh, curious. Curie replacing Emacs with X Emacs, I'm going to say yes. Okay, so it changed it to X Emacs. All right, I'm going to go back to the top here and undo some of those. So I'm going to do uh, Control U3 and then Control X U. I think that undid all my changes. Okay, we'll continue to talk about this uh, query replace here. Um, so let's go Control X O over here and let's. Uh, let's say we wanted to replace all the rest, but not ask. So I'm going to bring this to the center here and uh, I'm going to go control X O to over here and we'll start our query replace alt shift five. And uh, I'm going to replace default Emacs with GNU Emacs. 
Okay, and uh, I want to replace all the rest and not ask, so I'm going to just put an exclamation part point. So I'm going to do shift one. Okay, so it went through, it replaced all the instances of, now that was case sensitive, so uppercase Emacs to GNU Emacs. Okay, I'm going to do alt shift comma to go back to the top or alt left arrow. Uh, the reason why I'm saying or alt left arrow is really shift comma is the left arrow, the, the left arrow is above the comma. That's what I'm referring to, just in case you're wondering there. Okay, uh, I'm going to undo that last change. So I'm going to do control X U to undo all those. Let's do control A to start to the, go to the start of the line. And let's uh, talk about, well, we, we could back up the previous instance. I don't think I'm going to talk about that in this video, but that is, is an option. Uh, we can exit with Q. Um, we talked about E, replacing them or modifying the replacement string, which is this one. Let's now talk about Control R, which is a recursive edit. So let's do Control X O over here, and we'll do Alt Shift percent to start this, and let's replace Emacs with I don't know Adam. Let's say, okay. So I'm going to go yes, uh, yes. That's two changes, and uh, I see below method two of setting up Emacs. I see, hmm, there's something I want to change here. Uh, it says to quickly set up Emacs. I'm going to say to qu very quickly set up Emacs. I want to go change that and then get back to my query replace. So I can do control R and that's going to let me move down and go back here and go to very quickly here. And uh, then I can go back uh, up here and begin my, uh, no, I want to just control G out of there. I can go back and begin to edit again. So let's, uh, uh, let me talk about that. So if I go over here and I scroll down and I get back with Control uh, Alt C. Okay, so let me go back here, and hopefully I didn't mess that up. Uh, so Control Alt C. I'm back to my um, query replace. Okay, so now I can say yes, and I replaced all the instances there. Okay, now if I go Alt Shift to the back to the top, and um, <clears throat> uh, and then let, let's just do Control U three, and then Control X U to undo most of the changes and control X U to undo, I think all of them. So there were four changes I made there. Uh, we can talk about the next thing, which is deleting an instance and making a recursive edit. Uh, so let's, let's try that. So we'll do alt shift five. I want to replace Emacs with let's do VS code. Let's replace it with VS code. I'm going to say yes go down to the next one and I'm going to hit control W. Okay. So that deletes it and now allows me to make a recursive edit. So instead of theirs, I'll maybe make this as there is, I'll do control alt C and that'll get me back into uh, my query replace. I'm going to hit yes, yes. And it's going to keep going and replace Emacs with VS code. I'm going to go back up here. Now, obviously, we would never replace Emacs with VS Code. So I'm going to undo that with Control U. I think that was maybe four changes for Control X U. And actually, it was five. So we'll do uh, Control X U one more time to get all our changes back. I'll do Control A to get back to the start. Now, notice with the recursive edit, you exit it with Control Alt C. That's the, let me go over to this other buffer here. And if I go down, you see this control, uh, the C, uppercase C, the uppercase M, that's control alt or control meta. If you don't have an alt key or the meta key is the is not the alt key. It's really in the meta key and then C. OK, uh, <clears throat> so. Uh, we can also one last thing about the recursive editing here. Uh, so let me go back to this other uh, document here the other buffer and do alt shift five to start my recursive edit. Let's do Emacs and we're switching it with uh, Vim, let's say. And so we go, yes. Okay. We switched that one. Do we want to switch the next one? Uh, no, we want to make a recursive edit though. So we do control R and uh, we'll go Emacs uh, for this uh, let's put awesome course. Okay. So we did our recursive edit. Now we want to exit. I don't want to 
change uh, Emacs to Vim. I don't want to do any more of the edits where I change Emacs to Vim, and I don't want to do any more recursive edits. I'm going to do Control Right Bracket, and that's going to exit the um, query replace and the recursive edit. Okay, if I go Alt Shift back up to here and let me undo that. So Control U2, Control X U, uh, that undid the two changes that I made. Okay, let me see if there's anything else I want to talk about in this video. So I'm scrolling down here with Control N. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, one thing, yeah, uh, the other way we could abort a recursive edit and a query replace would be with Alt X and then type in top level and hit enter. Um, if we want Emacs, the regular search to be uh, case sensitive, we can set this into our .emacs file, uh, set Q default case fold search nil. Now you notice you want to play with this because some of the searches I did were search and replaces were case sensitive, some were not. Uh, so play around with the stuff I talked about in the markdown document. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description below and also play around with this file. Also at the bottom of this markdown document, you see uh, this stuff about Billy and, and Timmy. That was something where I was going to mess with it at the bottom of the markdown document. You can play with that with the search and replace too if you want to. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, uh, please give it a like it was a, as it will help get out to more people. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.